Many people are familiar with Pantone's color library, but did you know that Onyx has introduced its own color reference library and that it can be installed in Illustrator? Let's take a look. Onyx is known in the industry as a reliable production rip that is widely used by sign and print shops all over the world. As part of an ongoing effort to introduce new and valuable tools, they are now offering a color reference library that can be easily integrated into Illustrator and then printed within your workflow to show your designers and customers what colors can be achieved based on the media and printer settings. Let's take a look at how this works. All right, we have Onyx Thrive open, but first let's talk about the design piece. Um, so Onyx has this reference library. So we're gonna go and we're gonna find it. And where you're gonna find this reference library is in the Onyx Thrive folder under samples and color reference library. Here you're gonna see a file that is marked .ase. This file right here is going to need to be copied into your current version of Illustrator under the swatches folder. So I have a shortcut here, we'll just go. So in this case, we're looking at Adobe Illustrator 2023 presets, English, US, swatches, and then you can see I have gone ahead and copied my Onyx color reference library into here. By doing that, we now can jump over to Illustrator. And if we bring up our swatches tab, we can click over here and we can go to open swatch library. If you click on other library, uh, we can go right to the swatches area and we can click on the Onyx Color Reference Library. As you can see, the Onyx Color Reference Library is now available to you in Illustrator, and you can go about doing your design, incorporating Onyx uh, references as needed. So now let's just hop out of Illustrator, and we will jump back into Onyx here. So if we go ahead and we open our file, um, this is one of the cool things about Onyx. So they have this color reference library book sheet. Uh, you can also do the pages option. But if you do the sheet, and I'm gonna show you this uh, once we're done here, if I bring in this sheet, the great thing about it is it's going to print a sheet of all of the color references in the library and it's going to highlight each one to show you how far away it is uh, from what you're trying to hit. So they actually have three categories here. Um, when the sheet is printed, and we're gonna show that to you, uh, when this sheet is printed, you're gonna notice that some of these color values have a slight highlight of green. That means that you're gonna get very close color when printed with this profile on this printer in the mode that it's in. When it's shown in blue, that color is going to be a little further away. Delta E is how we refer to how far away the color is. Um, so the blue is, is a further Delta E away from the original lab value. And then if it's not highlighted at all, it actually is going to appear differently when printed. So um, the nice thing about this chart is that when we do go ahead and we print this chart, not only will it show you the highlights, but it's actually going to show you the exact colors you're gonna get off of that workflow uh, using the uh, reference library. So, um, so it's a huge advantage because you know right away what you can support with your customer. Hopefully this has been helpful and we certainly want you to like, comment, and subscribe below. And please feel free to reach out to our commercial sales reps and our color support team if you have any questions regarding this video or anything about your Onyx workflow. We're always happy to help.